you've just started sparring and you're getting chinned and you don't even realize why. This is why most of the time I see people start sparring because I see a lot of beginners start sparring. This is what's getting them punched in the face. They're in their stance, they want to move forward so they can land strikes on their uh, training partner. This is what happens. Their feet move forward, their hands move forward, and their head moves back or stays in the same place. This is bad for a lot of reasons. One, it makes more space between your guard and your chin. So there's more shots can come around the side. Next, it exposes your legs, exposes your body. And the third biggest thing is, if my head's lean back here, and I see a strike coming, I have no safety net. What I mean by a safety net is, if I'm slightly hunched forward, or just keep a good posture, I have this safety net. I don't want to lean back as a primary defense, but if I have to, I can make that lean back. I've always got that safety net if I have to. Whereas if your feet are coming forward, your hands are coming forward, one, you can't throw a good shot. It's just a loop and arm thing. Unless you're out of Sanyu and you've really got like a Robert Whitaker overextending and you're doing that tech and force Steve Fox shit, that's good. But you're a beginner. You're not at that level. You need to keep tight. Keep tight, look through your eyebrows, move forward. That way you can land solid shots that are connected to your feet, connected to the floor. And if you have to use that safety net, boom, it's there. Boom, you can catch yourself on your back leg. Here, no safety net. You fall back and you're out of your stance, you're even less likely to throw strikes and less likely to defend the takedown. And even worse, you can get that Weidman Silver one happen to you, where you're so lean back that a tiny little shot that would have just glanced off is hitting the tip of your chin and it's taking you out straight away. Only Jamal Hill can get away with permanently being in that stance. And the streets have taught him that that is a good thing somehow. But only Jamal Hill's getting away with that. You are not Jamal Hill.